Clinton is getting from Obama much more than just the keys to the Oval Office. She's inheriting the White House's biggest, deepest, darkest secret, one that takes the cake for the betrayal of the century. Forget Benghazi, forget Obamacare. This is so dark it had to be buried 10,000 feet deep under the Cheyenne Mountain. If she can't get elected, there will be no elections. Under the smoke screen of Ferguson, Baltimore, and other attempts at racial baiting, the liberal elite are preparing something more devastating than anything Americans have ever seen. This disaster will lead to the total destruction of the U.S. economy and more, the destruction of the very fabric of this country and the loss of our most fundamental freedoms. Their agenda is simple. They want to transform America into their socialist utopia, where martial law replaces the Constitution, and they want to set up a police state where Obama and conservatives are being sent to concentration camps and the liberal socialist rule with an iron fist. You're about to witness chilling evidence that connects Benghazi, the Iran nuclear deal, the coming elections, and the biggest economic and humanitarian disaster this country has ever seen. If you care about your family and you want to see them get through this crisis unscathed, you need to watch this. This is the kind of doomsday scenario that threatens America as our enemies get ready to attack the U.S. with a terrifying weapon of mass destruction. Obama and Hillary are allowing an EMP attack to occur. They could protect our grid for a few billion dollars, but refuse to authorize the funds. For the first time in modern history, we've got undeniable proof that a large-scale EMP attack on the U.S. infrastructure will happen in the very near future. Senior U.S. military officials warn Russia, North Korea, and Iran have the capacity to launch a devastating sneak attack against the U.S. As you are about to see, the Pentagon is moving back into the EM-proof Cayenne Mountain complex. Because of the very nature of the way that Cheyenne Mountain's built, it's EMP hardened. And um, it wasn't really designed to be that way, but the way it was constructed makes it that way. And so there's a lot of movement to put uh, uh, capability uh, into, into Cheyenne Mountain and to be able to communicate. Uh, well, it goes to the very nature of an EMP threat, I think, that uh, uh, that capability that we need to be electromagnetic pulse, uh, be able to uh, sustain uh, those sorts of capabilities, our ability to communicate, uh, things of that nature in an EMP environment is important. Dr. Peter Fry, executive director of the Task Force on National Homeland Security, warned about this. He said our enemies are putting the final touches on a weapon that could succeed in eliminating us as a civilization for over two years, an EMP bomb. In a desperate move, the Pentagon recently awarded a $700 million contract to a company whose job will be to relocate NORAD, the nuclear command center, back into the abandoned bunker 10,000 feet inside Cheyenne Mountain. They had to use emergency funds to do this. Obama will not authorize one single penny to protect the U.S. and our infrastructures from the coming EMP attack. You will understand why in a minute. According to the Pentagon and report in the Wall Street Journal, the reason for the return to this disused hollowed-out mountain is, and I quote, the enormous bunker in the hollowed-out mountain was built to survive a Cold War area nuclear conflict. It can also resist an electromagnetic pulse attack, or EMP. The Pentagon went on to say America's military planners recognized the growing threat from an EMP attack by bad actors around the world, in particular North Korea and Iran. Just for the record, Bill Clinton let North Korea get nukes and Obama let Iran get them too. So what is it about an EMP attack that would make it so devastating? As you may know, an EMP or an electric magnetic pulse is a huge discharge of very high voltage energy. It instantly fries all electronics and circuits and electrical devices. It's like a billion lightning strikes hitting everything electrical all at once. As you'll see, our enemies are planning to attack with not just one EMP bomb, but with four EMP bombs, all launched at the same time. All three countries are suffering under U.S. sanctions, so you can understand their motivation. It's the fact that their economies have been devastated by sanctions. They have the means, EMP weapons of mass electrical destruction, which they possess, and they have the opportunity. Each country has missiles capable of delivering these weapons that will end civilization in the U.S. as we know it. They know their weapons will take out the vast majority of U.S. retaliatory capacity. Once the U.S. is neutralized, 
two thousand and fifteen becomes the year america is no longer a superpower remember obama's always said he no longer regards the u s his role as a superpower or as he put it policeman to the world america's not the world's police terrible things happen across the globe and it is beyond our means to right every wrong he wants the U.S. to spend its money to erase what he sees as the social injustice of the past and establish a new world order. And how do they plan to end America's reign as world policemen? It's simple. Allow the EMP attack and leave the U.S. power grid vulnerable. Four EMP bombs will attack at the same time off our east coast, our west coast, the Gulf of Mexico, and north of Canada. The map below gives you an idea of how devastating this attack will be. The resulting blast will take down the entire power grid of the U.S. and Canada combined, bringing life as we know it to a screeching halt. But this plan is nothing new. We have known about it for years. In fact, EMP weapons were tested during the Cold War. It is a scientific fact. An EMP attack would literally plunge America into a dark age. In 1962, Russia tested a small EMP blast over what is now the Kazakhstan. The blast took out the electronics in several major cities located hundreds of miles from the explosion. It knocked out a major 600 mile long power line that was heavily shielded and buried three feet under the surface. But they didn't stop there. While America's leaders and military have been in denial, Russia has spent billions developing its EMP arsenal. The U.S. military now knows the truth and just went public. But Obama refuses to protect the electric grid. For 30 years, the Russians have had their top researchers and scientists perfecting the ultimate weapon, and it's paid off. A report issued by Newt Gingrich and his EMP commission warned that the U.S. would be brought to its knees by just such an EMP attack. As reported by Fox News and U.S. News and World Report, 70 to 90 percent of the U.S. population would be at risk. Up to 200 Americans could die. But Obama and Hillary do nothing to protect the United States. As a matter of fact, they relish the idea of a devastating attack. It suits their purposes. A scientific advisor at the Russian Academy of Engineering, Yuri Zatsev, warned of Russia's new breakthrough device. He said it has military applications that have no counterpart in the world. These devices, without a doubt, will reduce America to a third world hellhole of misery and suffering. Pentagon officials are scared out of their wits. But without the authorization, there's little they can do. Imagine the devastating effect of four high-powered EMP blasts, each 10,000 times more powerful than anything seen before, detonating over America. The worst part? America is totally unprotected. It's been revealed that our missile defense systems face the wrong direction. Obama has refused funds to expand the system. U.S. defense systems, including radars and anti-ballistic missile systems, were set up for an attack from the north, left over from the good old Cold War days when Russia was our only formidable enemy. But an attack from North Korea and or Iran would come from the south, which is totally unprotected and is America's soft underbelly and blind side. We have no defenses from a southern attack. Thank you, Obama. He explained that North Korea now has mobile intercontinental ballistic missiles, the KN-08, armed with nuclear warheads that can strike the U.S. While the KN-08 is inaccurate, it could be used to launch a high-altitude nuclear EMP attack. A recent study by the U.S. Department of Energy reveals that even a single EMP bomb will destroy beyond repair over 40% of the entire U.S. power grid. 365 large electrical transformers that are critical to supplying our power grid will fail. The Congressional EMP Commission investigated and found it will take four long years of darkness to rebuild the national electric grid. Just enough time for Obama and Hillary to turn America into their socialist dream world. What you will know as hell on earth. Imagine how much longer it will take to replace these fried, massive transformers in times of social and economic upheaval. There are no spares. Obama refused to allow the funds to buy backup transformers. An EMP attack is America's worst nightmare. Our government has known this for more than 50 years. Yet, President Obama has not acted on the EMP Commission draft executive order to protect national infrastructure that is essential to provide for the common defense. Hardening the national electric grid would cost a few billion dollars, 
a trivial amount compared with the loss of electricity and the lives following an EMP attack. But Obama refuses to provide the funding because an EMP attack will provide him and the rest of the liberal elites with the perfect scenario to revoke the Constitution and install a dictatorship in the USA. These EMP secret weapons will do far more damage to America than the biggest nuclear bomb ever made, but without taking any human lives directly. Instead, it will strip you, me, and just about every other American of everything our modern life is based on. You will end up in a FEMA concentration camp for Christians and conservatives. In an instance, all your electricity will be gone. You'll go back to using candles for lighting and wood for heating, and not just for your few days, but for years to come. You'll have to go to the nearest river for water and make your own fire so you can cook. None of your electronics will work. No internet, no smartphones, no TV. Getting food and water from the supermarket will be a distant memory of the good old days. You'll be forced to scavenge for scraps of food. Many will fight over a loaf of bread. People scrounging for food will be arrested and brought to the FEMA concentration camps for Christians and conservatives. They are already set up and waiting. This is the kind of doomsday scenario that threatens America as our enemies get ready to attack the U.S. with EMP weapons of mass electrical destruction. These devices, without a doubt, will reduce America to a third world hellhole of misery and suffering. Help will never come in time. You and your family will be on your own, and you must be prepared to save yourselves. Unfortunately, everything you can find up to now about how to survive an EMP attack is nothing but misinformation and misconceptions. Mass market EMP solutions and equipment will be the first victim of an EMP attack. For instance, all the so-called knowledge you read about EMPs and their impact on electronics was gathered from tests that were done with small-scale EMP weapons toys compared to the weapons Russia has invented and now deployed. And that's not all. The U.S. tests on EMPs date back many decades ago, in the era before cell phones or the modern computer. Back then, the transistor wasn't even invented. Neither were integrated circuits. The new EMP weapons give off higher voltage spikes at very specific frequencies. They are tuned to destroy every electrical system and device. The power grid will fail, and every electric circuit and device in the nation will be equivalent of burnt toast. For example, the average car today has 50 computers. None of them is shielded against a high-powered EMP weapon. They offer no protection. Most Americans will not be able to save themselves. Newt Gingrich said it best. This EMP catastrophe could end civilization. What you must understand is Obama and Hillary want an EMP attack. That is why they have refused to implement the recommendations of three blue ribbon EMP committees. A devastating EMP attack gives them the perfect excuse to declare a national emergency, suspend the Constitution, and open up the FEMA concentration camps for conservatives and Christians. It's a simple plan. Starving people who have no food and water will be taken to emergency shelters where they will receive food and housing if they work for food and shelter as slaves. These concentration camps are already built. At first, starving people fight to get in. They will be easy to get into the concentration camps. Once there, it will be impossible to get out alive. The bottom line is with no food, no water, and no electricity, and martial law, most people will be glad to go to the FEMA concentration camps. A starving man will do anything for a potato. But this does not have to happen to you and your family. Here is what you must do to stay free and healthy and well-fed. 